What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there, ladies and gentlemen. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you sh should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody, if you want to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And with that being said, let's jump on into it. All right. So this is uh, one of those videos where I'm going over your feedback, the things that you guys had to say, and I want to amplify your message here. This was in regards to that video about Grubhub drivers reassigning too many orders, leading to potential deactivation, because just so you guys realize this, this affects you know, um, like how on DoorDash you would have like your completion rate, Grubhub and DoorDash and Uber Eats do not like when you reassign or cancel orders. Now, there have been some drivers that get away with it all day long, and then there have been some drivers that do it a few times and get deactivated for it, okay? This has happened over the years. I've done several videos on it, but I wanted to uh, do an update here about what you guys had to say. George Zubek said, to be on the safe side, I keep it at around one out of 20 orders that he reassigns, okay? Which is not bad. If a restaurant is uncooperative, you will have no choice if they are extremely backed up and choose to wait on customers that are dying in. If it becomes a consistent habit, it's just better not to take any orders from that restaurant and thus avoid this reassignment dilemma. I agree with that, George. Knowing your market, knowing which restaurants to avoid is huge. Uh, Alexander Muirbrook says, I only do it for ridiculous wait times at pickup. Just last night, after waiting 25 minutes at Panda Express, I got told it would be another 15 minutes at least, and I was like, hell no. Exactly, Alexander. You literally only have one hour at a time at your disposal. You don't want to be out there working all day if you don't have to, you know, especially for the part-timers. And the full-timers, you obviously want to try and make as much money in the least amount of time possible. That's always the goal every single day you go out there. Um, Taylor Horton, oh, no, excuse me, I'm skipping over Tip Top Hornet 90 says, I've been partnering with Grubhub for three years, next month, and I've reassigned countless orders throughout almost daily. Now, my question is, uh, Tip Top Hornet 90, how many orders would you say in a day you reassign? And for those of you guys watching in the chat or the comments section, feel free to jump in and, and kind of do responses to each one of these comments, you know, and what you think about them and how you can relate. Here we go, Taylor Horton. I agree with this guy because there's always another driver right behind us. Only orders that have to worry are the non-tippers. If it's a decent payout, again, another driver will be right behind us. I hate that we are penalized by these companies. And what, he, and what he's basically saying is, if it's a good payout, but the restaurant is taking forever to get it done, eventually someone's going to pick up that order anyway. And chances are the driver who picks it up second or third, if it gets reassigned twice, um, the order should be ready right when they get there. So, you know, unfortunately, the uh, <laughs> the first driver's loss is the second or third driver's gain, you know? Um, Jacob Simmons says, if you reassign the order with DoorDash, it's considered not completing the order and under 80% 80, 80 completion rate can get you deactivated. So you only have approximately 18 orders out of 100 orders to be, to reassign. There you go. Just doing the simple math there. Exactly, Jacob. Uh, James Whalen says, I reassign orders when after you accept it, it says, keep in mind, 45 to 60 minute prep time for this order. Exactly, James. Time is money. Time is literally everything in this, in this industry, you know, in the gig economy. So you're not getting paid by the hour, okay? Yes, on Grubhub, they have the hourly guarantee, but never, ever, 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 ever rely on that. There are some people who do. I did in the beginning. Not a good idea. But yeah, if it says the prep time is going to be anything over like 10 or 15 minutes, you may want to reassign it. Uh, and finally, Darcy Jones says, we are absolutely not working for free. This is regardless as to how long or short a wait is for the food. We accept orders. That means that regardless as to time waiting for the order, we are not working for free. 
as there is pay for the delivery. The length of time to receive the order affects how much an, an hour we are making, but we are aware when accepting any order that there's potential for long wait times, as this happens with many businesses. To take the attitude of, I'm not working for free, due to restaurants taking a longer time than we expected to provide the order to you, for you to leave a and deliver, this is just another issue we have with other people's jobs affecting our job. Uh, in reality, this is something that can happen with every single job out there. In many ways, that's very true, Darcy, and I appreciate what you had to say. So, drivers, dashers, everybody out there, let me know your thoughts on this. How are you with reassigning or canceling orders on Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats? Is it something you do daily? Is it something you do periodically? Let me know in the chat or the comments. And if you guys ever wanna reach out to me with a comment, a question, a story, an article, whatever, send it over to me, pay to drive stories, S-T-O-R-I-E-S at gmail.com. Uh, that's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment if you guys want to check that out. And um, yeah, guys, so uh, if you sign up as a patron as uh, a way of saying thank you, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So with that being said, I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys. Really, really appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, man. So if you guys want to sign up, Links are down below. Definitely go and check that out. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And uh, with that being said, everybody, I hope all of you out there are saving lots of money with the Get Upside Gas app, everybody. That's right. It's a free app for your smartphone. Link is in the description. You scroll down this page, click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys know where to go. PaidToDriveStore.com. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at PaidToDriveStore.com. Links in the description of the pin top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Let me know right now by leaving a comment saying END318, END318. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm, I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.